Moses Sully, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the institution. So help me God. I, Moses Sully, member of the UNCC Board of Trustees, swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established so of the good. The president always choosing the right team to work because now we have disturbed you and my colleagues, <laughs> that you have no longer tired of us. I would like to thank you and the team of the uh, team of the Minister of the Chamber and the Social Development. They have really been there for us. We've disturbed you on the phone in the office, but you've been patient with us. And uh, thank you so very much. Uh, I would like to thank uh, God today. What a day to witness. See our comrades so really for being on the board of UNCC. This is what we've been hearing for. Thank you so much. And, uh, it's really amazing. My dear comrades, please do the meet for the of our summit. And us, the leaders of the association and the federation, we are really going to work with you and we are going to give you the support you really need. Uh, thank you so much.
much, uh, Idi. Thank you so much for everything. I also would like to thank the Office of uh, Attorney General, mm -hmm. Office of the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. of Afri A, mm -hmm. and OWC. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. We are here, please. We are here today, and the future is right. Thank you so much, my dear. From, uh, I, wa I want to take this opportunity and make a witness from the Ghana National Musicians. You guys, we explain how to get and work together to make this music industry vibrant. I want to of us to get to the answer. Because the future is bright, my dear I want to know how we are the presentation of the video and how we start to get and to this Thank you so very much. support and tomorrow we have two shows. So let us first have the photo opportunity with the new board, ED and ES. Chairperson of the International Cultural Center Board of Trustees, swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Uganda National Cultural Center and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the institution. I, Okaha, Bill de Otum, Chairperson of the Uganda National Cultural Center Board of Trustees, swear that I'll at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda as a board member and that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me.
you should take interest in that and provide your input. Understand all the instruments which are in place. If there is need for any review, that's how you can present us to the government, which is home for everybody in this country, and we are proud to work with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Commander Secretary. We want to welcome you once again. We are supposed to introduce ourselves by the following time.
the team that are outgoing and incoming but others in the entertainment industry. I want to welcome the president of the Federation of Musicians, Eddie, for accepting to be with the team and your, your team that you worked so hard to help us and support us to start moving towards ensuring that post-COVID we will organize this industry. I'm so proud with the, the work I see from all the domains and most of the domains. Recently, I was with the team of the film people, with Anthony uh, Nivamanya, who organized a very big, elegant film award. And that is where I realized that uh, we actually, because in our sitting room and in our phones and everything, music dominates. Uh, I had not known that actually the film industry is also that big locally. So you can see that Ugandans in their unique ways are doing wonderful things in this industry. And uh, when I entered in our small meeting this uh, morning with this team, and uh, I, I entered and I saw another person seated there, so I asked, who is this? And then uh, the people said, that's my person. So then I realized that that's a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, how many people do you employ? Because I see you people, when you're moving, people are with those who are on social media, those who are in this. So one individual alone walking out of his or her room is already employing maybe a minimum of five people. Earning a living from one artist. Then the chain is bigger. Those who are in the studio, those who are screenwriters, those who are um, promoters, managers. Someone was telling me about managers, how you cannot even perform when your manager does not permit you. So I am learning so much, and I've learned so much over this short period that actually sometimes you don't even control yourself. Somebody else will control you, will control the money, will control the everything. We have the IT section. The other day I was uh, with someone whose job is only to put sound into your music, sound into the film. That is his job. And he told me his investment is past two billion. Just sound, sound, two billion plus. And he told me I am. 57 people, that is the one I employ. But when I'm moving out to go and put my sound for people to perform, the people I employ are much, much more. So you can see that when you look at countries abroad, you go to Hollywood, you go to Hollywood, you go to. I see now Korea as, as in this budget, we are going to have some money that the board should now sit and start looking at the work plan. What is our strategic vision? We have other partners that are willing to come and support us. European Union, UNDP, German Embassy, British Embassy, there are many, many other players, donors, that want to support us. But people do not support you without you putting your strategic needs in effect. So the board has to be integrated. For me, mine is to wait and say, as a board, we have sat. This is what we want to do in the music industry. This is what we want to do in the film industry. This is what we want to do. For my case, what is yours? Indigenous knowledge. Indigenous knowledge. Is that the one of your... Huh? So all those we have about, is it seven or nine domains? Nine. Nine domains. So all this, this the other day I was with two, two people. I went to German and I found a Ugandan, um, they call it these people who draw, then they do all sorts of things. 
I found a Ugandan artist in the museum in Dresden in German displaying art and craft in that museum. <coughs> German. I was in Italy. I found a Ugandan lady. What's her name? A child, Pamela. Internationally acclaimed. She has so much international awards just for doing the arts and sculpture and all that and display and it is displayed in an exhibition in Italy. So you can see that if you people work hard, Ugandans have struggled and made their mark already in several areas, in very many areas abroad. It is now you to push them. There are Ugandans here who have so much talents that it is leadership that pushes them. You acquire leadership not for yourself. You acquire leadership to drive an agenda, to drive a cause. And you can't drive a cause when you don't consult your people. I will request you that please, while you develop strategic plans, consult those people who are struggling in the music industry, in the film industry, to see that will drive the industry. Once you do that, once you congregate the needs of the people and it forms your strategy, your work plan, then you are going to have very few discontent from the public. You come in the office at a time where there are so many discontent, there is also some disunity, and I expect that you put your um, you will put yourself into a situation where you sit, think through it, find a mechanism of uniting the industry. Because for us as a ministry, our role is to ensure that this industry is funded, it has the policy and legal framework to make you propel, innovate, create, monetize, and have the, the, the money, the outcome should benefit you who has created your content. That's why we are now talking about copyright. How do we protect your copyright? How do we protect those that you invented? That's our work as, as government. But I'm not able to do that if you don't tell me you amend this area. Adjust here. Take this policy. Me and your servants. It's you to tell me what you want. Once you tell me what you want, I'm going to go out there and I can pledge to you. I'll put all my efforts, I'll put all the things I can do to push your agenda. <laughs> so I leave it to you to ensure that uh, you work hard because the ministry uh, is a bridge that connects and culture is a powerful tool. It connects us with the past, in the present and project us to the future. It defines the culture of a country. It defines the identity of a country. So when somebody travels from abroad and listens to Ugandan music or watch Ugandan film, that Uganda film which is depicting the culture of Uganda, the food of Uganda, the, I saw documentaries of where uh, the beauty of Uganda, culture is able to sell a country in a powerful way. So it is you to be steadfast and use this board to ensure that we achieve what we want. I know that she is very um, focused and I saw documentaries of where uh, the beauty of Uganda, culture is able to sell a culture in a powerful way. So it is you to be steadfast and use this board to ensure that we achieve what we want. I know that she is very um, focused and, and I hope that they will work together and ensure that we move the industry. With that, I want to thank you, congratulate you, and now I'm over to 